Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Jenny again. It's week three of our virtual summer reading program and today it's all about fishies. So we're going to read The Pow Pow Fish in the Can't Sleep Blues by Deborah Desson, published by Macmillan Books. Late one quiet evening in the inky ocean deep, Mr. Fish Blub Blub, oh I can't get to sleep. His mind was fuzzy busy and his fins were full of vim. Though he wanted to be dozing, there were zero Z's for him. I can't drop into dreamland. I can't slide into snooze. I'm wide awake. It's hard to take the can't sleep blues. A sleepy voice spoke softly. Need some tips, inquired Mrs. Clam. Just watch and see, and soon you'll be as drowsy as I am. Soothe your seaweed bedding and imagine a fluffy sheep. Count them one to twenty and then presto fall asleep. Mr. Fish took the advice, but he couldn't catch a snooze. Miss Clam, I need more help, Miss Clam replied. She was asleep. Then a sleepy voice spoke softly. Here's an even better fit. You will love it, said Mr. Crab. All I get to sleep quick tricks. Just put on purple PJs and five or six orange socks, then soothe your busy thinking on a pillow made of rocks. Mr. Fish took the advice, but he couldn't catch a snooze. Mr. Crab, now what? Mr. Crab replied, yeah. Mr. Crab was asleep. Then a sleepy voice spoke softly. Here's what I would suggest guaranteed, said Mr. Eel, to yield a pleasant nice rest. First ripple to the left, then ripple to the right. Next swirl in a circle. Swoosh, swoosh, nighty night. Mr. Fish took the advice, but he couldn't catch a snooze. Mr. Eel, what's the deal? Mr. Eel replied. Mr. Eel was asleep. Then a sleepy voice spoke softly for your slumber in the sea. Here's a plan, said Mrs. Squid, that always does the trick for me. Just widen out your eyes and give them four quick tiny blinks. Then slowly close your lids automatically for your winks. Can you blink four times? One, two, three, four. Mr. Fish took the advice, but he couldn't catch a snooze. Mrs. Squid, more ideas. Mrs. Squid replied. Woo. Mrs. Squid was asleep. Then Mr. Fish heard nothing, just a symphony of snore. He couldn't sleep. He felt worse than before. I took all their suggestions, which I followed to a T. Their methods worked for them, but they did not work for me. I don't know what to do, he sank down in the kelp. What's good to good advice if it does not always help? Then a sparkly voice emerged. Mr. Fish, you're partly right. The voice was dear Miss Shimmers. Her smile was kind and bright. But take what you've been given and learn what you tried. Then build your own solution. Trust yourself as a guide. The best advice of all, said Miss Shimmer to her friend, is to learn what works for you and make your own special blend. With that, she said good night and departed from the scene. Now Mr. Fish was ready to create his own routine. I'll settle in my spot and I'll smooth my seaweed bed. I'll smooch my snoozy snugly, then I'll clear my buzzy head. I'll swoosh the gentle motion in the ocean wide and deep. I'll close my eyes and fins tucked in and drift right off to sleep. Mr. Fish had tried his best to resolve his can't sleep blues. Mr. Fish had to go, Mr. Fish replied. Yeah. And Mr. Fish fell asleep too. I hope you enjoyed the story and we will see you next week. Bye!
girls. I'm Miss Cheryl and I'm here to read a story for you today. This book is called My River by Sherry Halpern. Whose river is this? It's my river. It's our river. <laughs> it's everyone's river. This is my home. We live here too. I was born here. This is where we grow. I need the river. So do we. We all need the river. The river is mine. River is it? It's everyone's river. The end. Let's go up and see.